Hey everybody, I wanted to share with you guys, John Benet Ramsey's father has been in the news lately. He is not giving up hope, so I wanted to share with you guys the latest. I had John Bonet bless my life for six years, and she really was a blessing. Just an amazing little kid. It's been called one of the most famous cold cases of all time. 28 years ago, John and Patsy Ramsey woke up the day after Christmas and realized their six year old daughter, John Bonet, a child beauty queen, was missing. A threatening handwritten ransom note demanding $118,000, the exact amount of John's bonus was found on the stairs by the kitchen. So I heard Patsy scream, and that um, was a horrible shock. And we called the police immediately. What's going on there, ma'am? We have a kidnapping. Hi, right, please explain to me what's going on, okay? Sir, we have a... There's a note left in our car. Who's going? Seven hours later, John Ramsey found his daughter's lifeless body in a small room in the basement. JonBenet's autopsy determined she had been sexually assaulted, strangled, and her skull was fractured. Unknown DNA was found under her fingernails and in her underwear. JonBenet Ramsey, the little girl in Colorado, was murdered. Beauty queen JonBenet. JonBenet's murder has frightened residents of Boulder. For decades, the case transfixing the nation. John and Patsy quickly became suspects, despite the lack of evidence linking them to the crime. There was no evidence of a break-in. There was no jimmying on the front door. There were four people in that house, and one died overnight. From the very beginning, they suspected the parents. The Ramseys have always insisted they had nothing to do with their daughter's murder, eventually sitting down with Barbara Walters to try to set their record straight. Mr. Ramsey, did you kill John Benet? No, I did not. Mrs. Ramsey, did you kill your daughter? No, I did not kill my daughter. It would take 12 years for the Boulder District Attorney's Office to completely clear the Ramseys and their son Burke. All the while, John Benet's killer has never been found. You still feel like it's a cloud over your family name? Because there are still people in the country who oh, sure. still believe Absolutely. that you're, your wife are responsible. No doubt. And we can have the killer confessed, arrested, in prison, and there'd still be 5 to 10% of the population that, yeah, yeah, it was the father, or yeah, it was the mother. Now John Ramsey is working with director Joe Berlinger. Someone killed this six-year-old child. On a new docu-series streaming on Netflix, Cold Case, Who Killed John Benet Ramsey? You have to go deeper. You have to sort the DNA we have today and make more sense of it. We think the crime can be solved. We want to pressure the Boulder police to test DNA. John Benet's blood was mixed with a foreign DNA. We need to separate out those two profiles, which can be done now. John Ramsey is confident that advances in DNA technology can find his daughter's killer. There's been a number of old, old cold cases solved using this genealogy research. Let's do a reverse family tree and see if he had a relative living in Boulder in 1996. That's what we're asking the police to do. The Boulder Police Department told Nightline in a statement, we are committed to following up on every lead and we are continuing to work with DNA experts and our law enforcement partners around the country until this tragic case is solved. This investigation will always be a priority for the Boulder Police Department. The docuseries reexamines the early days of the investigation. Is it fair to question the Boulder Police Department's experience, ability to investigate a homicide at this point? I don't think so. Uh, just because you have one homicide in a year, I think is actually a sign of remarkable strength in a community. That lack of experience procedurally created a lot of problems in the crime scene. I remember covering this story as a younger journalist. Mm. There was no more important story in the country mm. than the disappearance and the death of your daughter. With all that attention, all that scrutiny, why hasn't this crime been solved? One simple reason, the police have refused help that was offered, and it could have helped. They had no experience, in. they had, didn't have a homicide department. You have a small town police force that gets a crime that they're not used to. This was the first murder 
uh, in Boulder that year, and it was December 26. So they don't have a lot of murders, particularly where a little girl is tortured to death. From the beginning, there were questions about how the police handled the investigation. There was a group of police investigators that had gathered at the Boulder Police Department that morning. When the word came in that Jean Monnet's body had been found, a person inside that meeting told me that one investigator hissed in kind of an undertone and a whisper to another one. I knew it. They killed their daughter. So early on, they locked into this crazy idea that the parents were responsible. They get tunnel vision. So then they're not looking to investigate all possibilities. Like a similar case where a young girl around Jean Benet's age was assaulted in her home. Sometime in the late hours, mom hears a noise going on. And she grabbed, I believe, pepper spray and went down the hall. And there was, in fact, an intruder in her daughter's bedroom preparing to molest her. That person has never been identified. It subsequently came to light that that girl had attended the same dance studio as John Benet. Are the two cases connected? I don't know. It's just absolutely insane to think that the parents were involved as opposed to a pedophile who enjoys this kind of thing. Also under scrutiny, the crime scene itself. And in a crime scene, particularly one as contaminated as this, is problematic. People were streaming through that house. They were in the kitchen. They were in the living room. There were some friends of Patsy's that were helping her wipe up the kitchen. There could have been fingerprints there. You had friends that were windexing the sink and washing dishes. And People were making toast in the kitchen. And... Yes, a kidnapping is a crime scene, but, but we were so focused on getting John Bonet back. That was the task. What we have learned is that everyone should have been sequestered into an area so that people weren't roaming around the house. As the weeks passed with no arrest in the case, a media frenzy began to build. Fueled by nonstop images of Jean Bonet competing in beauty pageants and the tabloids, all the while, police continue to focus on the Ramseys. It's not just that they had the wrong idea. They had a strategy of feeding false or partially false stories to the press because they wanted to smoke these guys out. They used the press to tarnish their reputation. After their names were cleared, a number of suspects surfaced, including one man, John Mark Carr, who confessed to the killing in 2006. I love oh, DNA. Die accidentally. His DNA did not come back as a match, so he was never charged. The case remains open. Do you think you know who the, who the killer is? You know, no, I don't. And um, this was a very dark, evil person. I don't know anybody like that. Until the day we die, we'll be looking for the person that murdered our daughter. Patsy Ramsey died from ovarian cancer in 2006. But despite the loss of his wife and John Bonet, John remains steadfast. Did you ever think about hurting yourself after she died? Well, yeah. Um, the pain was so great uh, that death would have been a, a blessing. My uh, minister said, okay, here's what you do. You get up in the morning, you deal with it. When you can't deal with it anymore, you go back to bed. And that works. Now he's remarried, takes comfort in his remaining children and grandchildren. I don't see sitting across from me a, a man who's been broken by this awful thing that happened in oh, your life. Thanks. Why? Well, you know, we were broken for a while. Uh, and really what got us up off the floor was the realization we have three other children that need us now to be strong parents more than ever. I won't get over the loss of my child, but I'm moving ahead. So let me know your thoughts on if Colorado police will finally find the answers. Will they allow others to help them find the answers? Let me know your thoughts. Will we finally know who the killer is? Will they finally get justice? It's been so long, 
28 years is a very long time. Thank you guys again for watching and have a great night. Thank you.